Hey, it's Reeve Florine here, and we're going to talk about how to get amazing images for your websites. First off, let's talk about why you need amazing but legal images. First off, your website and your products are going to look a lot better when you have professional looking photos on them. And secondly, you need to protect yourself from copyright infringement. Let's talk a little bit about those legal issues. Well, number one, the United States copyright law allows for up to $150,000 in damages for every single infringement. Now imagine if you took 10 different photos from some other website or from some photographer and you didn't have the rights to use them, that could be over a million dollars in damages that you could be liable for. You wanna make sure that you use legal stock photos and they're very low price in comparison to a legal battle. So let's go over the types of images. Now there's public domain, creative commons, and royalty free. Now in public domain, you have a license to pretty much do anything. A lot of government photos are in the public domain because they use taxpayer dollars to take those pictures. And so you have the rights to use them. Also, sometimes individuals list photos that they've taken and put them in the public domain. And so public domain photos are a fantastic way to use them in your marketing, use them in your business, use them on your website, because you don't have to worry about doing anything. You don't have to attribute anything to anybody. You don't have to pay any licensing fee. You can just use them. Now there's Creative Commons. Now those images, you can use them without payment. There's, but there's several different license types. Some of the most common ones will tell you if you have to give uh, attribution or if you don't. You know, like you can use them on your website and you don't have to like link back to the photographer's website. Now they also might tell you if you can or cannot create derivatives. So a derivative would be maybe making some edits to the photo, maybe changing some colors, things like that would make basically a brand new photo off of what you had just downloaded. And then another thing that's common in Creative Commons is whether or not you can use it for commercial purposes. Now, even if you have a blog with, say, AdSense on it or maybe an affiliate link to something, that blog could potentially be trying to make money. And so you could get yourself in trouble if you're using a, an image from Creative Commons that does not allow for commercial purposes and you even have AdSense on your website. So that is something you need to be concerned with if you're doing Creative Commons. And then there's royalty free. You basically pay a one-time payment to use that photo and you can use it as many times as you like. And this is a, a great option. This is how a lot of stock photography is done. So how do you get deals on photos? Well, there's a couple different ways. There's ways to get monthly subscriptions where you pay a monthly fee and you get access to a bunch of different photos and that's a great bargain. And there's also deal sites like AppSumo and Mighty Deals. Let's just go over and look at those websites real quick. So here's AppSumo. This is aimed at a lot of like small business entrepreneur, entrepreneur types and today's deal is about Instagram advertising it looks like. But they've typically put out a, a new deal every day and sometimes they have deals that are graphic and photography related. So it's a great way to get a lot of like a, a membership to a stock photo thing. And so you might pay $39 for instance, and you get lifetime access to some stock photos and you'll get a, a nice collection that way. Then there's Mighty Deals. And so this has a lot of design related elements. So here we'll just scroll here real quick. Like here's some icons and we'll just see how that works. And for $12, you have these vector icons that you could use. These would be great for maybe infographics or maybe ebook covers. There might be some stuff in there that you could use. Now I haven't looked at the, the licensing here, so you can't sub license them. You can't resell them and you can't share them, but they can be used for commercial and personal projects. So this would be perfect for, you know, if you are creating some sort of e-cover or you have some stuff, an infographic or something on your blog that would use some of these icons. And they have 150 different ones for only $12. So I guess normally it's a $24 deal. So you get 50% off. So that's pretty cool. Now there's a bunch of free stock photo websites. I'm gonna go and show you those. 
So the Stocks is a site that lets you search a bunch of different free stock photo websites. All you do is you click on the website here and it'll give you the ability to search and you can find what you're looking for. So it's a, a nice way to get stock photos all in one spot. You have Pixabay. This is also on that uh, the Stocks website and you just enter in what you're looking for and you can find it and then you can can use these photos like let's check out this bug here free for commercial use no attribution required so you could use this I mean this is an amazing photo and you could use this in something there's pexels.com and this lets you search for free photos so let's just search for lion for instance here's some photos of a lion that you could use so we'll click on this one Free for personal and commercial use. No attribution required. I mean, you could do something with this photo. There's new old stock. And this is, these are old pictures. So these are like public domain pictures that you could use. Like here's something from a giraffe at a, a London zoo. And that looks like a very old picture, but someone might be able to use that for something. Now there's publicdomainarchive.com and this links to over 35 different websites that you could find stock photos on. They're all free and so it lets you find a bunch of different photos from all sorts of different sites. Then there's a Creative Commons search. So you can search for different photos that have Creative Commons linked to them. Maybe you want ones that are available for commercial purposes. Maybe you want ones that you can modify, adapt, or build upon. I would recommend searching maybe um, Flickr or even the, the Wikipedia. And so let's search Flickr. Maybe we'll do a, a lion again because we, we did that on the other one. And we'll search. And here's some pictures of a lion that you might be able to use for other things you're doing. So let's just click here. Didn't seem to load. So here we'll, we'll click here and this is a public domain picture of a looks like a female lion that you could use. Now we'll talk about some of the paid stock photo websites. Now there's deposit photos. This is a relatively new one, but they have 50, over 55 million photos. And so you could download 30 high res images a month for just $29 or you could do other subscriptions that they have you could also do on demand so they have a lot of different options for you that you can use they have vectors they have images they have videos they have photos I mean it's a pretty cool website you have stock photo secrets now this one you pay $99 but you can download 200 photos at their highest resolution that they have and then extra downloads are 69 cents and up. So you can get a bunch of high quality photos from stockphotosecrets.com using their $99 club. Shutterstock is one of the largest stock photo companies, if not the largest. I mean, it's they've been around for a long time. And so they have over 90 million images and they have stuff where you can buy individual images. They're kind of expensive. You can do it per month or even a team if you have a bunch of people who are, are using pictures. This is probably not anything that anyone watching this is going to use. They probably don't have a team that they would need it for. But I could see some people using the basic and professional. These are incredible photos. They're just really expensive. There's Adobe Stock. This is relatively new. You can sign up. They have a free trial and you can get 10 photos for free and then it becomes $30 a month for 10 photos, or for 350 photos, it's 170, or for 750 photos, it's 200 a month. So it can add up as well, but if you're doing these in a lot of different campaigns you're running, or a lot of different blog posts you're doing, this could be a, another option for, for you. There's Dreams Time. Now this is a credit-based or subscription-based, and you can get various packages for what you want. They have different where you can either download individually or you can pay a monthly fee 
it's in line with a lot of the other sites that we've looked at. There's Big Stock. This is owned by Shutterstock, but they have a little bit, well, actually quite a bit better pricing where you can get different photos. These aren't going to be as good as their Shutterstock photos, but still you're going to be able to access a lot of different photos that they have. And then there's 123RF. And they have 65 million royalty-free stock photos. You can use them on demand and use different credits, or you can subscribe. You can also just get the JPEGs or the vector files. And so that is another option for you. So there's quite a few different places. What I would do is I would start with some of these free photos and see what you think. I, I like the stocks because you can search a lot of different photo sites just from there. I also like the Creative Commons search. I like all the links on the public domain archive slash free stock photos. I think that can be very useful. I would start with some of those unless you have a budget that you want to use and you want to buy some photos. Shutterstock is probably the best stuff there, but I would maybe start with deposit photos just because that seemed to be one of the lower priced options and that would give you a lot more photos to work with. Now, let's talk about some of the other photos. You might know some photographers in your area or maybe been on some websites that you really admired, and you could contact those photographers and see if you could license some of their photos for your own work. They might even be able to say, hey, I've got photos up on Shutterstock or on one of these other photo sites and sh share with you where you would go to get that. So they might have something already set up for you. And another option is if you have a nice camera, take your own photos. Then you don't have to worry about any copyright issues. You have your own camera. You can take your own photos. It's more work, but you can get exactly what you're looking for. So in conclusion, you want to avoid legal trouble. So you want to use like royalty-free pictures. You want to use um, Creative Commons type pictures. You want to use public domain pictures. You want to use the free and the paid stock photos. That is really what I'm getting at to you. Do not get yourself involved in a lawsuit when you could spend a couple dollars or even find some free photos and use them on your blog and your products in your presentations, whatever you're doing. You have those photos, you have the right to use them, and you're paying just a small amount to use them in your business and that would prevent you from perhaps losing everything in a lawsuit. So I hope you like this. I hope this shared with you some secrets on how to get amazing images for your website. Underneath this video, I'm going to link to the different websites I mentioned because I understand it's kind of hard to, to follow along with this video and, and write down all those websites. So I will link to all those websites for you so you can easily get the stock photos you're looking for. Have a great day.